John Clayton Adams or J. Clayton Adams was an English landscape artist. Adams was born the second son of Mr. C. H. Adams in Edmonton, Middlesex, now in Greater London, and studied art at the Bloomsbury School and later under William Wolfew Fenn. He first exhibited at the Royal Academy, London, when he was 19, and, throughout the period 1863 to 1893, exhibited 75 pictures there, and 25 at the Royal Society of British Artists. In 1873 Adams moved to Brackenhurst, Ewhurst Hill, near Guildford. Most of his landscapes depict scenes from counties in southern England, particularly Surrey. However, he also painted a few Scottish works featuring the River Tweed. Following the example of Benjamin Williams' leader, George Cole, and his son George Vicat Cole, Adams produced pleasantly naturalistic landscapes, truthful in detail, but in general idealized. His paintings are characterized by a broad technique, the use of rich color, and a sensitive handling of light. Harvest scenes were a favorite subject throughout his life, and many of his exhibits at the Royal Academy explore this theme. Most of his paintings are signed J. Clayton Adams. Adams' paintings can be found in many art galleries in the UK including the Victoria and Albert Museum, Sheffield City Art Galleries, Sheffield, and many other regional centres. John Clayton Adams or J. Clayton Adams was an English landscape artist. Adams was born the second son of Mr. C. H. Adams in Edmonton, Middlesex, now in Greater London and studied art at the Bloomsbury School and later under William Wolfew Fenn. He first exhibited at the Royal Academy, London, when he was 19, and, throughout the period 1863 to 1893, exhibited 75 pictures there, and 25 at the Royal Society of British Artists. In 1873 Adams moved to Brackenhurst, Ewhurst Hill, near Guildford. Most of his landscapes depict scenes from counties in southern England, particularly Surrey. However, he also painted a few Scottish works featuring the River Tweed. Following the example of Benjamin Williams' leader, George Cole, and his son George Vicat Cole, Adams produced pleasantly naturalistic landscapes, truthful in detail.